We're going to have a look today at some of the modifications made to this King Canada mill. This is a PD-30. One of the very first things that we did concerning the mill was to add this light up, up top here. And it actually swings around to either side of the mill so you can move it and reflect light wherever you might need it. And that's just a bar that's attached to the ceiling and loosely swings. Now for the mill itself, one of the most annoying things I found was that when you move this mill uh, up and down, when you loosen this so it can, can swing, and it's a little bit loose right now, it can swing around, you're never quite sure where to put it back. Sometimes uh, with the cover, it hits the wall. As you can see, the wall is scraped where the cover hits, if you don't get it right. So we've added this little device here. This is a laser. And when we flip the switch on the laser, it throws that laser beam on the wall. Now we can move the head and you can see the, the laser is lined up now. So we're good in that direction. The other thing is there's quite a difference in the vertical travel from the vise to the chuck. And when you change out the chuck for a collet, that vertical dif distance changes. So I put a couple of little things on the wall here. If you can see them, it's pretty hard to read, I guess. And I've added, turn that laser off. I've added another laser up here. Right now, we're set on the distance for uh, the vise to the chuck. And if we put a collet in, we would be winding it down as so to the vise to the collet. So I don't have to guess anymore. I just turn the laser on and look at the marks on the wall. Now, the other things that I have done here, as you can see, I have a a digital readout installed and we'll get to that in a later video uh, that will be one of the last things we get to and maybe coming up in in three or four weeks this has been handy so I've got a magnet on the back of the calculator and it just hangs wherever you stick it it, it comes off or goes anywhere else you want that has been a handy addition and we also have uh, a, a coolant spray here that's attached to the side of the mill. It is fed by an airline that goes back to the compressor and the coolant comes from this bottle with the pink solution in it. And right now I'm using RV antifreeze. It seems to work uh, better than water because it, it seems to me that it doesn't rust as much. Anyway, I, I use it. So for now, we'll, uh, we'll end the video here and we'll pick up on some of the other attachments in a later video. If you'd like to be notified about other modifications, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.